Hey there, this is Amy with crazybeautiful.com. You can see this is a coffee cup from Perfect Blend and I'm stamping it with our Memento ink. And I'm using, I'm gonna show you, first I'm gonna use the crumb cake assortment. Now I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Before I get started, I'm gonna take the lids off of the ones that I'm gonna use. Now this just saves me a little bit of time while I'm coloring because I want, the other tip, <laughs> I want to have the ink stay wet. So I'm going to use the brush tips on all of these and I'm just going to gently set the lid right back on. So as you can see I don't have to struggle with it, I'm just going to go like this. So I'm starting with my light. I usually just like to lay on my color with the light and this so on this particular image my light I'm gonna have sort of hit right through here because it's a cylinder you know like a coffee cup um, so I'm not gonna color that at all yet I'm just gonna gently put my lid back on and move to the next color so this is the next darker color and on this image it sort of gives you a hint on where you want the darker um, areas like this hand sketched kind of look you can almost just stick with these um, you know little sketch lines and uh, be really um, lifelike I guess Now I'm going to come over again and just blend with my light. And now I'm going to just carefully and gently go over all of it so as to try to just keep that um, point of light um, So, and you can see my um, card is staying pretty wet, so it's blending really nicely. I might grab this ivory from, I'm gonna leave this one handy too. This ivory from the um, Skin Tones assortment. I'm just gonna use to kind of highlight my lid. Leave that one there. I'm going to go on to the bottom of my cup here. So again, just take my lightest of my crumb cake and add that color on. Move to the medium. And then the dark. And if you don't want yours so dark, you don't have to even do the third color. You can just do the light and the medium tones. I think I'm going to do what I did before and bring in this lighter skin tone. And that even allows it to kind of blend a little bit lighter. I'm going to pull that in a little tighter. Okay. There we go. So now that I'm done with that color, I'm going to go ahead and snap on all my leads, okay? Just so that I don't forget and they dry out. Um, since I'm doing kind of a pumpkin spiced latte sort of um, card today, pumpkin theme. It's like pumpkin week on crazybeautiful.com. Um, I'm going to color my little sleeve orange. Now this is the light for the pumpkin pie assortment. And Just, I kind of forgot to leave my empty spot there, but you get the idea. I'm 
And you don't have to color in circles. That's sort of whatever you like to do. Um, coloring in circles, I guess, is sort of a Copic marker thing. Or maybe it's just an alcohol marker thing because by coloring in circles, you really get a lot of the ink on there, but you can really just do whatever is comfortable. I feel like this is more of a vertical cylinder, so I kind of do want to just keep my strokes nice and straight. So there you go. Super easy. You can still kind of see the light hitting my cup. And then I'm going to fussy cut this and add it to my gift card holder.